Okay, today we'll go through another example of data lakes, a um, series of data lake examples that we've been going through. Uh, this is another data lake which uses um, S3, uh, the Amazon uh, AWS system, to com uh, completely store all the information uh, in the S3 buckets. Um, there are some processing that gets done using Spark, for which we um, create EMR instances but uh, those don't cover any um, HDF storage. So all the storage that happens in the data lake happens in the Amazon S3 buckets. Uh, there, is one, there is a landing space uh, which, which starts with Amazon S3 where all the JSON files uh, that the company has, they already have some S3 buckets where they have, they store uh, uh, information, they pull that into the uh, data lake landing area, which is also another S3 bucket. They have MySQL databases, uh, they have Amazon EC2 instances that they run, they have logs from that, Commodus text files, they have Cassandra databases. Um, so all that information um, and information from their uh, um, uh, apps that the Amazon EC2 runs, those are JSON files, those get sent over, everything gets landed on to the data lake in the landing area um, in the Amazon S3 buckets. Um, those are then processed by um, on a daily job basis by uh, um, Amazon EMR instances that get kicked up. And uh, th those are um, using the Spark um, um, those are set up as a Spark job. And then those uh, execute all these uh, files and then um, change them into columnar data which from which we can do analytics. Mm -hmm. And then those get um, updated into another S3 bucket, um, which is processed data. And that is, those are all Parquet files. And uh, those Parquet files are directly used by uh, the company's data scientists using Jupyter um, notebooks. Um, and for business analysts and for uh, the business organization, those get, uh, uh, mapped onto uh, the Amazon Athena. So Amazon Athena can look up S3 data sets. Um, like uh, it can, uh, you can use glue crawler to, uh, to understand the schema and then expose the uh, like S3 data using Amazon Athena. And Amazon Athena can be used to query uh, the S3 da uh, data set, uh, the parquet files in the S3 data set or even text files, but in this case, using uh, packet data sets. And then the business analyst would be able to um, use that and use Amazon Athena and run their own queries. And for uh, uh, reporting, <coughs> they have uh, uh, Tableau, so the Tableau dashboards, um, even the Tableau dashboard was uh, uh, was installed in Amazon uh, in this instance to, uh, from the marketplace. Um, so this, the whole data lake, uh, if you see this structure, in itself is completely um, using the Amazon S3 storage, both for landing and for storing the uh, processed parquet files. So there is no other uh, technology being used here. There's no HDFS, even though we see Amazon EMR instances, those are mainly used for processing the data from the raw formats, the JSON, the CSVs, and then processing that, uh, and then uh, getting output parquet out of it. Uh, this doesn't involve uh, persistent storage in HDFS. Uh, the Amazon EMR uh, clusters um, run intermittently, so that is they run, uh, they are they sp they get spun up, they run, do all the processing, and then uh, they are uh, inactive until the next day's run. So they are uh, they are used only during the time uh, they have to process the data. This is another example of uh, a data lake where everything is done on Amazon AWS. Um, if you have any questions about this data lake structure, please let me know. Thank you so much.